So first we're going to put the reference images. So you can get the images with the link in the description. I have a Google Drive folder with all the reference images for all the tutorials. So you can get this or you can go on um, dimension.com and I used this one and you have a lot of object. You can also see the um, 3D view of the object and everything and to have more um, websites like these website to download textures to download characters uh, animations models you have the link to my 3d resources in the description so yeah I have more than 55 websites for all of this so you can get this if you want the cube we can hide H for now shift A image reference get the image and then go on top and on top is going to be this view so go in the properties object properties and then rotation put this at zero so this is going to be this here so g um, x we can move this here put a little transparency in object data properties opacity put at 0.3 like this Put back the cube and you can scale S the cube like this. Move the image a little bit so the cube is at the center. Like this, um, SY scale the cube like this. Um, Alt Z to go on X ray and then you can move the image um, like this. Now that we have this, we can go on the other side. So numpad one on minus y axis, you can hide the camera and then click on the image, shift D to duplicate, escape RX 90, get the image on the other side, GX. Um, so this side is going to be this one here make sure that it is at the middle like this then we can um, go on number three the other side shift d duplicate again the image rz 90 move the image so it is in the middle and you, we can put this uh, like this this here is touching here and numpad one we can do the same with this image so gz so the top is here then we can adjust the cube so we have all the images numpad one here numpad three here and numpad seven for the top now we can move a little bit the images give a space to the cube and we can go back here so this one can move it here this here so now first what we are going to do is so you see in this object there are two parts the main cube here and then the top here and we can create a little opening for this first we are going to do the main parts so this is going to be easy we can go in wireframe in x-ray to see better First, click on the cube tab, edit mode. Get these and we are going to follow the shape of this. Move this up. These are a little smaller. S, X, move this like this. Get these. Move this a little down like this. Scale on X. Symmetry like this this part is done now numpad 3 the other part here get these move this here and you see we did so at this level here so this part but here it is more up like this so we need to add a loop cut here to be able to do one um, quad here and another one this part so 
I'm going to put this up first, like here. You can get this, move this a little bit, like this. And then here, Control R, get a loop cut here, move it like um, here, get these, move them here. And then I want this to be straight. You see it is a little on the side like this. So get these S X S um S Y zero enter and get the um, numpad three here. This one we can get this move follow this line, this G, G, we can move a little bit, maybe, or not, just leave like this. And here we have it, we put this a little down, to follow this line and then move after. Like this. Now, Numpad 1, it is like this. Numpad 3, it is like this. And numpad 7, this is only the top, so we are not going to see the main part here. So we have all of this. And now, what we can do to create the top parts is we can get the faces, a select of this and this. And then we can duplicate and then create the top part because it is the same shape it follows the, sa the same shape. We get this and then to duplicate shift D here escape and then P to separate separate by selection. Now we have cube and cube 0, 0, 001. Go back in object mode. Now we can uh, work on this new cube. So this we can hide the first part and then this it is bigger. So first we are going on the top here, so we can scale S like this, move this like this, move this up, uh, move this down, and then tab edit mode, you can get this move here, so it follows this, move this like this. Then we can get everything A and then extrude up E and then Z. So we have this line, the blue line here. Then I'm going to put it here and then this can move G, Y like this. Also this one like this. This one and move here like this and have, now we have the top part and you see there is this uh, shape here see here so we need to create this and extrude it down to create this part so we can face a select Get this, go on top, and this is on the, not on the right side, so this image, need to rotate, so R, Z, um, 180, like this, move the image, like this, um, G, X. Like this. So now, and also move like this. Now, um, click on the cube, the cube 001. Tab edit mode, face select, get the face on top here. And numpad 7, I to do an inset. Do an inset. 
like this s x it is smaller here now we have this get the other face here numpad 7 i do an inset um, here s x put this smaller i'm going to move this like this and now we have this now we can select this and this shift select and we can extrude it down so we can do alt e extrude faces along normals now we drag down like this we can go this side to see here we can see so we can undo do again like maybe like this gz like this now we have this part z solid at z now uh, this part now to be able to put this part into a little hole on this on the top part here so we can do another inset edit mode shift click i and the inset on these and put this back i like this edge to select get these and move back gy like this and this we can move a little bit gg for example here place a select get these and alt e extrude like on the other side example like this now you see it is like this and um yeah it's done now we can put back this and we need to put a subdivision surface on this so first we can do the main part this one and also we need to get the faces and delete them because we don't need so we open this then we can put the trash and everything inside so x delete faces now what we can do is add thickness to this so edit mode a to select everything alt e extrude faces along normals put uh, like this inside a little bit you can put outside to put inside then open this and uh, even like this so it is straight here like this now when we put a subdivision surface on this so go back in object mode subdivision surface is going to look like this we can put it at two and in the render we can put it at three now we need to add loop cuts for all the edges and the corners so what we can do we have two methods to do this so we can disable the subdivision here we can just select all the sharp edges and then put a crease so go in edit mode and then um, select select uh, select 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 sharp edges here and it's selecting everything um, select sharp edges here and put in edge select now all the sharp edges are selected and we can do n go on item mean crease put at one now all the edges selected are going to be black like this and when we put the subdivision now it is 
it is um, sharp here, but we still have this problem because we need to add duplicates for these. And also, when we do this uh, crease, you see the side here it is a little round. So we don't want crease on this one and this one. So I'm going to put at zero here so we can use the other method add loop cuts on this if you want everything not round everything sharp you can put the um, crease so i can go like this so we need this sharp this and a little round here so control r Click get a loop cut um, here. Get one here. Like this. Now, get one at the bottom here. One at the top. One for the thickness. So like this escape and you can do control b to do a little bevel one on the side here then we can check how it is looking now it is looking like this you can add more for this to be more defined so put another one put it really close here Like this and then at the bottom here um, we can we can uh, put one here like this put one up like this and uh, this one it is a little too close alt click g g like this now the corners the round corners can go in x-ray so this one and also this Wireframe. Get these. So this one, we need to move it a little bit, so it is not as sharp here. So G G. Get this one G G. You see, it is around now here. Like this here and also a little bit here like this and here we don't really see right click shade smooth so this part is done here we can hide we can put the other cube we need to do the same with this so get this and also this one uh, this part we need to make another part for this so this part here and this is going to move after and we are going to add the little cylinder here so this can open. First, we are going to add loop cuts and subdivision. So, Control R, get one um, 
here. Click Control B and also we are going to change these. When we do face select, alt click to select a loop. See it is selecting this loop, but we want the big loop here because all of this is flat. So we need to dissolve this and put one edge here. So we can use the knife tool. Vertex select K to use the knife tool here. Click this to this, click enter, K, enter, and then we need to make other lines here. But we need to um, go through everything here. So it goes on the other side here. So to do this, K and then C, click A to put this straight, click enter, K, C, click A, click enter, and edge select this, shift this, and then command X to dissolve, or you can do X dissolve edges here, and this one too, um, K, C, click A, click enter, and this K, C, A, like this. And now you have this, and on the other side here, you need to join this, this one, and shift this one, J to join, this one, join. Now we can have a loop here, one loop here. Now we can add a loop cut on this loop. Control R, click here. We can Control B, the little bevel. And this part. Uh, we are going to separate after. Put more loop cuts. Control B. Like this. And also now you see this here. Command X to delete here to dissolve. Like this. And also on this part, you need to add loop cuts. This. This. Now, when we put the subdivision, you need to add more loop cuts after subdivision. See, because it is around now. So, you can go on top and add loop cuts for these corners. So, these corners here. So, Control R, click here, Escape, will be these. Put back. Now it looks like this. Here. On the other side, Control R, click, um, Control B, like this. Now you see it is following here. If we go in wireframe, now here on this part here. Maybe just one here, we're going to see what it's doing. You can check the image. If you put a bevel, it's going to look like this. 
Maybe we can leave just at one. Like this. And add woodcut here. Here. And then these parts are a little round here. See on the image. These. So maybe we can get these uh, first, put these here. And I think it looks pretty good now. You can adjust by just GG this and then check where are the boob cuts. These. Now it is round like this. Now for this part, we can separate these. So disable the subdivision. Go on top, vertex select, get all of these. And um, First, what we can do, add click on this part. We want to separate this part. Control B, do a little bevel here, like this. And then you can select all of these in, in um, X-ray, all of these. Then this we can separate P, separate by selection. Now we have the cube 002, this part. And we can uh, move it, rotate, but first we can put the little cylinders here. Top view. And we can hide this, this. Shift A, mesh, cylinders. So this is going to be easy because this is just cylinders. You can put less vertices. Uh, maybe 18 like this. 16. Because we are going to scale it. So it's going to be really small S. Like this. And we can rotate. Um, R, Y, 90. Like this. Then you can apply the scale and apply the rotation. Come on A. All transform. Like this. Now S. Shift. Um, X. To not scale on X axis, this, G, move this here, S, S, X, move this, S, you can put it here, and then we can use an array modifier to put more, put all of these, so add modifier, array, and factor X, a little more like this and then count put six now you can do right click shade auto smooth alt z to disable the x-ray now put back the top g z move them on top here X-ray and it is like this. Now it is good. So now to move this, to rotate this, we need to um, put the point of rotation on these. If we click on this R and X, it's going to move like this on this point here. 
So first, put the cursor on this. So click on this and then Shift S cursor to selected. Now the cursor is here. But let me move R R X. It is moving because the origin is here. And we can move here 3D cursor. Now it's going to move like this. But the best is to put the origin on this on the cursor so we can move on uh, medium point or individual origins. So click on this Shift S, uh, not Shift S, right click and then set origin, origin to geometry, uh, not to geometry, origin to 3D cursor like this. Now the origin is here and here we are in pivot point, for example, medium point, R, X, we can move like this. So we can put it open and here you see now that we opened this. This is looking like this. So you can add thickness to this. So add modifier and then put a solidify here. Add a little thickness, put even thickness here. Now it is not, it is not just, just a plane with no thickness. Just like this. And then when we put, when we put the subdivision, on everything and this the rotation of this you put back at zero to close it's going to be like this and you can do right click shade smooth right click shade smooth and these I put shade auto smooth because there are no subdivision or anything and we don't need to put them because it is really small like this and if it is not smooth enough for the render, you can put at um, render here at three. Click on this three. Now, so this we can put also the subdivision, uh, not the subdivision, the solidify this one. You can get this, put the solidify the same one, even thickness, like this. And now. I'm going to hide the images here. R, X, you can move this here. Want, or you can close this. Want to, if you want to not have this space, you can join the points together. Everything. If you want to learn more about 3D modeling, sub, sub D 3D modeling. You have um, two days left to get 50% discount on my new course 3D uh, sub D modeling. So you have the coupon code in the description and the link in the description to access it. See you in another video. Bye.